Just had to make sure my levels are right. What's happening, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's always good to see you. Happy to have you. Let's listen to some of the Stranglers. We're going to continue our album listen of Rad and Norvegia Kiss. We're going to listen to a little bit of Get a Grip on Yourself. Uh, I hope that you guys have been enjoying the album listen thus far. I absolutely have been enjoying a little bit of the stranglers and I don't want to get all choked up when I talk about them but you know I gasp a little bit <laughs> I don't even know what that meant I was just trying to insert some puns I don't even know what I'm talking about anyways let us go ahead get a grip on ourselves with the stranglers let's go ahead and pull up the music pull up the lyrics and uh, let's go ahead and jump into the music not for you guys because obviously I upload every day here on the channel but I took a weekend off which I literally never ever do I never take time off of recording. I don't record every day, but I definitely record several times throughout the week. And I just took a complete week off. I've never done that, or at least I haven't in a long, long time. And um, I miss it. I feel refreshed. I miss it. I'm ready to get back into it. So what better way to start off again than with a little bit of The Stranglers? So let's get into it. This is Get a Grip on Yourself by The Stranglers.
I think that's one of the best songs on the album that I've heard thus far. Are you kidding me? Greenfield? What is he doing? <laughs> what is Greenfield? Settle down. What is Greenfield doing? He jumps on this track with synths, Moog, whatever he's doing, and he is just going. It's like it's like someone put a bunch of keys in front of him, and and they just dropped the gate, and he just ran for the races. He was chasing that carrot. He was chasing that rabbit. Whatever he's chasing, and he got it at the end. Man, Greenfield is like, he is bringing more than his end game. He is wow. Every single sound that he chooses as well really like nicely complements the music because you have the muddy bass playing you have the staticky and distorted guitar just kind of wailing in the back you got the non plus singing style from cornwell like you got all of that which is good on its own but then you got greenfield that comes in and just sprinkles a little something on top of it all that makes it really unique really distinctive and extremely playful and fun and it's interesting to listen to as well from an entertaining standpoint and from a musical standpoint. I, I'm really captured in this specific track by Greenfield. I mean, how can you not be if you're listening to what he's doing in here? And like I said, the sounds that he chooses specifically. You can hear a little choppy guitar there in the back and then you come in with the little synth lines here. That's so unique. That's so unique. And then even if you skip ahead in different places, perhaps he puts a little more of an echo on it in certain uh, areas. Love how he jumps into this with that bass groove. I, I, I don't know if you heard it. I did not mean to. I just kind of had a lisp moment there. I said that bass groove. <laughs> and then at the very end, the very end, they just like get down right and dirty and start jamming out uh, on top of this slightly brighter guitar riff that just starts really jamming. That is really good. Oh yeah. And this song, like I said, I mean, it to me, it's very dancey. It's very groovy. If I was, not, I've never been in a club really, but if I was in the club and this came on, first of all, I'd be really, really surprised. And I would definitely like to meet the DJ that put this on. But on the other hand, I'd be absolutely dancing on the dance floor in the middle, cutting up the rug, as the kids used to say. Uh, but yeah, this is, I think, one of the best tracks that I've heard thus far off the album. And the album's been really strong in the first place. So uh, let's get into the lyrics here, which I did not pay attention because I was stricken uh, by Greenfield. Didn't have the money round to buy a Mori Tho. Been around and seen a lot to shake me anyhow. Begged and borrowed sometimes. I admit I even stole. The worst crime I ever did was playing rock and roll. All right, so when he says didn't have money to buy a Moritho, Moritho, Moritho? Let's see what that is. Of course, when I type it in, it just comes up with uh, <laughs> this. Okay, I think it's a car. Um, it seems that it is a car or was a car from what I can tell. So he didn't have the money to buy this, this car. Uh, sometimes he borrowed, sometimes he stole. But the worst thing he ever did was play rock and roll. So maybe, well, I guess actually I was about to say what, what he's saying in the chorus. But the money's no good, just get a grip on yourself. The money's no good, get a grip on yourself. The money may not be good. And from an, a financial and economic point of view, the worst thing he ever did was play rock and roll. Obviously, that's something that speaks to your soul. That's something that money can't buy. But he's admitting, hey, it was a struggle. <laughs> you know, he had to beg and borrow, stole. Um, he gets into the next verse. Suffering convictions on a two-way stretch inside. The air in here is pretty thin. I think I'll go outside. Committed for insanity and crimes against the soul. The worst crime I ever did was play some rock and roll. Now I find from week to week the sentence sticking fast. Turn the corner, rub my eyes, and hope the world will last. Stranger from another planet, welcome to our hole. Just strap on your guitar and we'll play some rock and roll. Like, listen. Don't, don't get into music and rock and roll with expectations of coming out a big star, becoming a huge financial success. You may! You may strike gold, but don't get into it for that because you may end up sorely disappointed. You may end up destitute. You may end up financially poor, soulfully happy, but financially poor. And he kind of gets into like 
going inside of like a prison and coming back out the next day. He uses a lot of allusions to prisons and being committed for insanity and crimes against the soul. So I feel like he's kind of talking about playing shows. This is just how I see it when he talks about going in and coming out, going in and coming out. He's going into this, this form of jail, this form of punishment and imprisonment when he's playing shows. He's having a great time, but he's not doing anything like monetarily. There's nothing happening there. Then he comes out the next day and he's like, man, what did I do? <laughs> I may have had a great time, obviously. But, you know, get a grip on yourself. You should know there's no money in this uh, business before you go ahead and get into it. But it's a great time. So I've heard. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of the track. You can let me know in the comments below. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Patreon. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.